Hello, this is Brad Tallis with NextGen Solutions, and welcome to this week's Fusion Friday. This week's topic is using AI to create Fusion scripts to help speed up your design. So let's take a look on how we could do this. So Fusion is great and all, but sometimes it doesn't do things the way I'd like it to. And here's a prime example. I have this uh, wooden bookcase and I want to find out how much it's going to weigh. So if I right click on the top level and go to properties, it's going to analyze all of the components, figure out uh, which physical material it's made out of. And you can see in this case, it's a white oak. And then here is the mass and it returns 1462 ounce mass. Well, I wanna know how much it's gonna weigh in pounds. And even if I change my preferences, this never changes, it always stays in ounce mass. So I end up having to copy this number, go into Google, you know, do a search for convert 1462 ounce mass into pounds, and that just takes a lot of effort and a lot of time. So, Inside of Fusion, under the Utilities tab, we have this scripts and add-ins. And I've talked about you know, the App Store and these add-ins before, but I haven't really talked about scripts. Well, I'm gonna go ahead and select that. And here you can see the scripts and then the add-ins. So I'm gonna go back to the scripts tab and I wanna create a new script. This starts to look a little complicated and this is where the AI is really going to help because I know absolutely nothing about creating scripts. And you'll notice we have two options, C++ or Python. I'm going to select Python and then I'm going to give it a name. So I'm going to call it wait and I'll say create. And you can see it's going to create a new script called wait. And then I can come in and edit that script. Now, typically it brings up um, like a, a dialogue that I can edit. Um, it's not in this case. So I'm gonna go into my scripts and show you a cool little trick. I'm gonna right click on this and say, open file location. And it brings up this dialogue and it shows where that actual script is. And so we can see it's under, you know, app data, roaming, autodesk, et cetera. And we called it wait. And here is that Python script. So I'm gonna go ahead and open that with Visual Studio Code. Uh, I could choose another app, but I'm gonna use Visual Studio Code. And it comes up with this, you know, basically an empty um, block. We'll just leave it at that. Okay, so we're going to be editing this script and already I can see like I have no idea what this is talking about and you can basically see it's creating a hello script is what it's doing. So I'm going to use AI. In this case, I'm going to use Copilot and I'm basically going to ask it to write the code for me. So I'm going to say create a Fusion Python script that measures the mass of the top level assembly and returns the result in pounds. And I'm just gonna hit enter. And this is a, a pretty amazing to me. It sits there and thinks for a little bit and says, here's a Python script that measures the mass. And you can see it's writing the script for me and it's doing the conversion and everything. And then it tells you, what does it do? Um, and I'm just gonna come up here and copy this code. So I'm gonna click on that. I'll bring up that Visual Studio and paste this code right into here. And let's just save it. Now you can see it's called wait. Now I just go back into Fusion. Here's that wait, and I'm gonna say run. And it says the mass of the top level assembly is 91 pounds. So yes, that took me a little bit of time to create that script, but if I'm you know, doing a lot of measuring and figuring out, you know, I want to know how much things weigh. I have this script from now on, and this will work on any assembly, on any single part. It really doesn't matter. Uh, so, for example, I'll, I'll open up um, another, let's just do this conveyor really quick. And I'll run that script. So I'll say scripts and add-ins. I'll click on wait. 
and I'll hit run, and we can see the mass of this assembly is 338 pounds. Now, I can even take this to the next level, um, and that's what I think is really cool about the uh, um, AI type stuff, is it created this script for me, and I can now say, now make it return the weight of each component and the grand total in pounds. And so it's basically going to use that existing script and then and modify it slightly. So you can kind of see some of it looks pretty similar, but now it's going to go through and hopefully return um, each individual component. So let's just copy that. I'll edit the, the code again. So I'm just going to basically highlight everything, paste that new code. So we can see it went from like 32 to about 45. I'll go ahead and save this, and let's run this now. So I'll come in here and say scripts and add-ins. We'll run wait, and you'll notice this time it gave me an error. And this is what's kind of cool. I have no idea what this means, so I'm going to copy all of this. So I'm going to say copy. I'll go back into my script here and say it gave me the following error. And then I just paste that error in there and it sits there and says, okay, there might be an issue with this. Let's try doing something else. And so it tries something else. So I'll scroll up here so you can kind of see. Let's correct that by iterating through the occurrences on the root component instead. Here's the updated script. So let's copy that. Let's give this a try. I'll paste that in there. Hit save, and let's try running this script again. Notice this time it shows each individual component, and we can see they're labeled like A, B, C, D. It tells me what the weight of each of those are, and then it tells me what the total mass is. And there is no way I would ever be able to write a script. I don't know Python. I don't know scripting or anything like that. And in just a couple minutes, I was able to create a script and then modify it even to have it display the weight of each component and then the total mass in pounds instead of ounce mass. So here's another example. I was working with a customer and they were doing like a contour um, plot where they had a whole bunch of different um, sketches on individual planes and there was quite a few of them and it took a really long time to create all, each and every one of those planes. So let's do this again um, using that example. So I'm going to say create a Fusion Python script that creates 16 construction planes one inch apart on the XY plane. Again, I wouldn't know how to write this. It does it for me. All I have to do is copy this. I'm going to paste it into that um, same script. So let's just go into here. I'll paste that and save it. Even though it's called wait, we're just going to keep running the same script. And so here I am in an empty design. I'll go over to utilities, scripts. Let's go ahead and run this and let's see what happens. And you can see 16 construction planes created one inch apart on the XY plane. And here are all of those construction planes. And you can see how it did all that. So if I were to do this manually, I would have had to come in here and say uh, offset plane, click on this guy, tell it to go one inch, say OK, repeat that over and over again. Um, and keep track of how many times I've done that or whatever. Um, but I had the script do it for me automatically. Hopefully you found this video useful. If you did, all I ask is that you give the video a thumbs up and share or repost the video with others in your network. This will help spread the knowledge of Fusion out to the community. If you have any comments or ideas for future topics, please reach out to me at bradtallis at nextgensolutions.com and I look forward to seeing you on the next Fusion Friday.